Hello, so it's Antoinette here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I wanted to touch base on my experiences with virtual reality. During my higher education administration program during the summer of 2021, I did a project with an assigned peer and I remember very briefly um, just knowing that virtual reality was useful, not only in video games, but also in the education sector and field. And I did not plan this video. I'm going on a limb here, so I'll do this quickly. But I remember that, um, hold on, let me see. I remember that I did a project with virtual reality And I'm trying to find out where it is. Ah, here it is. Game changer discussion. So me and a peer um, had to collaborate and she did peer article review number one. And I did peer review article number two which was Construct 3D, a virtual reality application for mathematics and geometry education. And this work was inspired by my PS4 playing um, for, what is the game called? It's a robot game. I cannot believe I can't remember right now. It's not MIP, <laughs> but, um, Oh, dear. I'll put the link to the description what the game is. What was it? It's not Roblox either. Anyway, it's a robot and the robot's really cool. And the robot goes through all these different levels collecting coins. And I noticed that spatially I was able to really immerse myself in the environment and understand my game playing on a whole nother level. It went from a regular TV screen or a Game Boy or handheld, you know, game console to this 3D virtual reality world. So I decided to translate that passion that I have for video game playing into my educational studies. And I started off using a QR code in my master's program. And literally after I did that, I noticed, I mean, I know QR codes was a thing. Bonus points if we can remember what QR stands for. Quick response code, there you go. I know I spelled, I know I spelled what wrong. <laughs> Quick response code. But um, I remember using this QR code and then I noticed it like showing up everywhere. I think it was like a trend. So I'm glad I used it in this study here. Uh, or not a study, but like a peer review. Um, but yeah, pretty much like the results show that students showed an interest in relating to math problems spatially. And I think that this is really cool for solving complex math problems. If you're using VR system in the classroom, I think I'd highly suggest using it for mathematical purposes and building robotics and technology. Now, there's research that suggests that men usually have a higher cognitive spatial capability than females when they look at spatial objects in real world time. As for me, 
I think I'm somewhere in between, I can notice objects. Uh, very, I'm very spatially aware of objects in my environment and, and how they rotate mentally. I can come up with an idea of how objects can rotate mentally very quickly and flexibly. So maybe that is why I like playing games. I don't know. But I think it's really cool when people have a passion for their everyday to day activities and, and using that to further their education. So I just wanted to share this research with you that I did as part of my graduate studies at the university. And um, again, I did article number two and my peer did article number one. So this was a great collaboration